what has this Warriors experience been like? Has it been what you thought it was, different? It's been fun. I mean, just to go through my own, you know, trials and tribulations. DeMarcus Cousins can't go. Oh, He's holding that left lower leg area in the area of his Achilles. And then the teams, trials and tribulations. is one through and he's hurt as soon as he made that shot he started Ooh, look with at this look at this for all of that to happen and to still be at this point the warriors do it again as they advance to their fifth consecutive nba finals now that's the kind of the thing steve preaches it's not about holding up a trophy or putting a ring on this all those steps and battles and you know the adversity everything that you went through to get to this point that's the that's the satisfying part What do you remember about the day of your first playoff game, the emotions of that day, and just how that day was? You know, I was, it was like a, a kid waking up for Christmas. So, um, you know, couldn't really sleep the night before. Um, you know, just, just overall excited and ready to just play the game. So, game two, you try to get a steal. What do you remember about that play? I saw him throw that same pass so many times just through film and, um, you know, it was a real lazy pass. It was kind of them just going through the motions. Got my hand on the ball and kind of tapped it in the wrong direction. You know, I just remember, you know, feeling a pop in my thigh. And uh, my leg just kind of gave out and, uh, you know, hit the floor. What were your initial emotions walking to the locker room? I was kind of up and down because, I mean, I could walk, so I felt like it, it couldn't have been that severe. But at the same time, you know, Rick kind of being the overprotective team trainer that he is, he kind of just had this look, and I'm just like, what's up? He was like, that's your quad. And as I looked down at my quad, and, you know, it was kind of rolled up. And uh, his initial thought was I tore the main one. And once he kind of said it to me, and I just, you know, my mind just started racing, and really I just kind of went into a blank space, like, like just not this shit again. Then once we went to do the MRI, we came back with the results, we kind of realized it wasn't as severe. You know, that was a relief, but um, in the end it sucked because I worked my ass off to get to that point. And, um, you know, it was short lived. How would you describe the rehab? It was tough. You know, it took me a few days to just kind of get over trying to figure out why and just, you know, all right, let's, you know, fight through this and get to the next point. You know, once I got through those dog days, just got back to work. That's all I could do. It was just about, you know, getting my body in shape, the quad muscle in shape to, you know, go through the different phases of the game. It's been a tough week leading up because I've been, you know, working my tail off to get to this point. So, uh, you know, I am healthy enough. Do you even think about free agency at all right now? I don't. I told myself a long time ago, like, I'm taking every part of the season just a day at a time. Do what I can control, and that's to make sure I get better each and every day. What can people learn from your perseverance this year, your career, too? I'm not a quitter. It's going to take a lot for me to, to fold. And I'll take an army and a navy, but I'm still going down fighting.